Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is 21 May and Sublime Text 4 is released for hours ago. So let's take a look at what are the features it provides and what are the changes that we got with this specific version. So if I go to the text uh, Sublime Text website, you will find this text editing done right. And now the most important feature that they are demonstrating here is the uh, splitting thing. So you can easily split a specific uh, window so I will show you in a while how to do it so you can see all you need to type is just hold control and click on a specific file it will open that file in, uh, in a splitted mode and then you can type control and W to actually close that specific tab tab or the splitted window yeah so this is the feature and you can see use multiple selection so this way you can select the next instance which is uh, cool you can see they are selecting all of the paths, which is interesting. And you can see they implemented a GPU rendering and okay, now they have the support for Apple Silicon and Linux ARM64. You can see the tab multi-select and the yeah, context aware autocomplete. So they have improved their autocomplete feature and they have a refreshed UI, though I am using other uh, UIs like in specific material themes. So that is not going to be a um, notable feature but they does provide it now and you can see the support for JSX and TSX uh, is also there and you can say updated Python API they have up updated their Python API as well so if I go to the change log or you can see the features that they have it added so this is the uh, URL I will link it down in the description you can check it what are the features they are offering with this specific version so uh, it's been a while since the Sublime Text 3 is released, so finally we have Sublime Text 4. And now, so this is just a demo project, and uh, this is uh, Sublime Text 4. I have installed it. It's super easy to configure and install in uh, Linux. So I'm currently on a Debian-based distribution. In specific, I'm using Linux Mint. So it's super easy. All you need to do is just click on the Linux install and go to the app or select your package manager and just follow the instructions. So I've just copied and pasted these commands. All right, so that would do the job. Apart from this, let's just start uh, taking a look at the features. So if I hold control and click on any file, so for example this, you can see it is going to open it in another splitted mode, so which is kind of cool. It's easy splitted mode, so which is nice feature because now we can quickly open a file in a splitted window and you can close it by holding control and W. And they have improved their auto completion feature as well. So for example, if I start typing something, you will see a different thing. So you can see these icons and other things. So they have improved uh, their auto completion as well. So form start, you can see it's better. All right. So apart from this, you can export, or you can say copy a specific code as HTML as well. So for example, if I select this and uh, go to my selection and sorry edit and then here you will find the copy as html so if i go back to here and open up a code pen instance to show you how does it work all right so i will show you in a while so yeah these are the features and also they are also mentioning the multi-select so basically the way multi-select work if you select it and if i do Control d so you can see it is selecting the next instance of django so this is cool. So for example, if I select import, it will select the next import statement like this and this. So I can change it all at once, for example, this, which is pretty cool actually. All right, so now if I just paste the HTML content that we get here, so as I pasted here, so I should be getting a nicely formatted code, which is perfect guys. So this can be actually used if you want to write some blogs and uh, articles, or maybe you want to publish the code on a WordPress site. So it's actually super cool. So yeah, these are some notable features for more information. You can take a look at their uh, feature list that I will provide the, in the description. So yeah, this is it for this small video. So I was super excited about this because I am a sort of fan of Sublime because I use it a lot along with VS Code as well and along with Vim as well. But yeah, so yeah, that's it for this video. See you in the other one. Lions roaring in the morning sun Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way yeah. Birds jumping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happening
Merely 